to be speaking with a fascinating artist who's creating the world's largest Quran. And we're also going to be taking a little trip on the Expo Explorer train. You don't want to miss that. Stay with us. You're watching Studio Expo. Now, the Pakistan Pavilion is a visitor favourite, and recently a new major attraction was unveiled. It's Shira from the world's largest Quran, cast in gold-plated aluminium and set on canvas. Just incredible. Now, renowned Pakistani Canadian artist and sculptor Shahid Rassam is the mastermind uh, behind this very unique project, and we're delighted he's joining with us in the studio now to explain about the project and why Expo 2020 is the perfect place to share it with the world. Shahid, thank Thanks so much for coming in today. Thank you. Thank so, you. this is a huge project. You've got yes. more than 200 people working on it at the moment. It's still a few, way, a few years away from being completed. Just how big is uh, this portion of the Quran you're working on? It's, uh, it's the largest uh, Quran of the world. And uh, the uniqueness of this Quran is not, uh, it's not only in size, uh, it's so big. But in fact, the whole treatment is entirely different. You know, it's been more than 1400 years, uh, Quran has been calligraphed, but uh, no one has casted uh, in, uh, its words. I have casted all the words in aluminium, then they were gold plated, yeah. and it's a combination of canvas and uh, aluminium mm -hmm. and gold. Um, what gave you the idea to create such a masterpiece? I mean, we're having a quick look at it now on our screen, so what do you, what's, what's the work process and the ideas that you had to bring it to Actually, life? Actually, you know, being a sculptor, a painter and a sculptor, I always uh, think in a different way. You know, in our society, sculpture is like the taboo. So what I did, I saw a masterpiece of uh, one of our great masters, Sadiq Khan's calligraphy, he wrote uh, Allah's name, Asmai Hasna. So when I saw that, I thought to myself that they should be, uh, they should be casted, just, uh, just like as I do the sculpture. So then I did uh, those Allah's name. They were appreciated a lot. Then I thought that why not the whole Quran Kareem? So then I started working on that. I did some research. What I found that in 1400 years, only few uh, Quran has been written, not uh, casted. So I, uh, first I did two pages in two years time. So then I trained my students, a team of 200 artists, calligraphers, designers, painters, miniature artists, sculptors. So they are working with me on this huge project. So it's been five years. Uh, it's just fascinating. Uh, it's a couple of, uh, it's only, it's a couple of meters high. How big is it exactly? Actually, two meter wide okay. and 2.6 meter high. I mean, it's huge. And it's down at the Pakistan Pavilion. It was installed about a week ago. Uh, how long will it be there for when we want to be able to come and see it? By the end of the expo, it will be there. And after that, you know, what I would like to, I would like to present this uh, to uh, any museum over here or any big public place so people come and see. I'm sure you're going to have a feast of people actually wanting okay. to see that and have that as part of their exhibition. So um, has anybody approached you yet or are you just waiting for the, first, the, the right opportunity to mix what you've created and for the best place for people to see? I suppose that's the thing to work uh, for. No, um, uh, people are in touch with Pakistan Pavilion. They are coming and appreciating. And one thing let me uh, tell you is, is that such kind of the gigantic project cannot be completed uh, until you have the government support or any big institution support. You know, more than 200 kg gold is going to be used in it, and 2,000 uh, kilogram aluminium, wow. and uh, 550 pages of the whole Quran Kareem. I mean, that's huge. How much does it cost to create something like this? Actually, it's a multi-million dollar project. A multi-billion dollar million, project. A multi -million, multi-million dollar yes, project. Multi -million and where dollar do you get funded for something like that? Is that personal funding or you reach I out started to it uh, by my personal funding and with the support of my friends, uh, I came over here uh, in Expo, like uh, one of my very dear friends, Irfan Mustafa, leading philanthropist and businessman of UE. So he encouraged me a lot. He said it should be uh, displayed at the Expo. Expo is the right place. So world and come and see. 
Well, we look forward to uh, more people, and of course, from all over the world, to come and see it at the Pakistan Pavilion. It's going to be here till the end of, of course, the expo, which is the 31st of March. Um, and f for me, something of this proportion really does stand out in the crowd because the uniqueness of it and the, the ideas that you had. Um, I mean, how far back do you, when you create sculptures and designs, how far back do you, you plan these things? I mean, when did it first come to light that this was something you really wanted to do? Actually, you know, I've been uh, doing different things in my uh, whole artistic career. So I n always feel that, uh, you know, uh, uh, art, uh, it, sh it should be taken in a way that it's a unique piece of art. You know, there are some religious feelings as well, as people see that. But for me, and one thing uh, is also very important, the life of the piece of art. Of course. So uh, the, uh, this, uh, the technique I have used in it, so it makes the life of this piece thousands of years. Well, Shahid, thank you for sharing your story. Thank you thank for you showing so us this wonderful piece thank of art. So and then good luck with the future with it. Thank, thank you. you so much.